What's up guys? I am on my way to Vogel State Park. I'm doing the Coosa Back Country Trail tonight. I'm gonna do what's called the Georgia Triple Crown. I am probably gonna be hiking by about 12, trying to do probably about 12 miles. I'm about uh, two miles, or sorry, not two miles. I'm like two hours into my trip on, uh, on the Coosa Back Country Trail. And I have gone doot, 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 all the way. I believe I'm somewhere between Locust State Gap and Calf Stomp Gap. Next up on my trip is kind of the harder stuff. After I cross this Forest Service Road, I'm coming up here to uh, this junction uh, with the Duncan Ridge Trail. I'm going to take the Duncan Ridge Trail up to Coosa Bald, stand on that bald come down. Um, I'm going to come over to um, doo -doo, down here, down here, Slaughter Mountain, uh, where Slaughter Mountain, sorry, where the trail skirts Slaughter Mountain, I'm going to bushwhack up to this peak, come back down, and then hop on this trail at Slaughter Gap, come over, hop on the AT, walk up and stay here at Blood Mountain Shelter. Yeah, so I've, I've come probably, let's see, probably about a third, yeah, probably about a third of the way that I'm going to hike today um, in two hours, so probably going to start picking up the pace, <laughs> or I'm just going to night hike, either one. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow I will come down off Blood and hop back on the cruise the country trail and go back to my car at Vogel State Park. I have to say it's pretty chilly out. It's probably in the upper 30s right now and my nose is running like crazy. You can really tell. Hey dudes! I am on top of Coosa Bald right now and it's 3 o'clock. First peak down. Two more peaks to go. Whoop, whoop. Check it out. On top of Kusa Bald. It's not really a bald. There's the bald spot, I guess. But that's alright. That's okay. Ain't no thing. We can call it a bald if we want to. It is really pretty up here. So, that continues on to the Duncan Ridge Trail. Came from the Duncan Ridge Trail to get up here. This is a really nice viewpoint. I would sit and have a snack, but I couldn't wait. I had my snack like 30 minutes ago. Also ran into two really nice folks. Uh, also hiking the Coosa Trail. He said it was the first person they'd seen in two days. I scared the crap out of them. So now I am, I'm back on the Duncan Ridge Trail. Sorry, the camera is shake city. About to uh, hit the connector with the Coosa Backcountry Trail again. Hop back on there. And I will talk to you guys again on Slaughter Mountain. So, as you can see, the trail looks like it keeps on skirting the mountain. Um, that gap is where I'm going to turn from this trail that I'm on, the Coosa Backcountry Trail. I'm going to hop on the AT and go up to the top of Blood. Um, it's looking like this is going to be my best route to bushwhack my way to the top of Slaughter. So... Here I go. Yep, I am bushwhacking out my way through to the top of Slaughter Mountain. It looks like looks like I'm almost to the top. At least we'll have two peaks down by the time the sun sets. So sweet, I am. At the top, just bushwhack through that, at the top of Slaughter Mountain, so as far as I can tell, yeah buddy, there's not much of a view up here, it's, uh, it's 428, which means I've got an hour before sunset. I am about to hit that peak right behind me, it's Blood Mountain, um, yeah, I'm stoked. Two peaks down. All right, so found my blue blaze. I'm getting back on 
the Kusa Ridge Trail, the Duncan Ridge Trail, just simultaneous right now. Um, yeah, 4.40, so that took me about 10 minutes, leaving me about 50 minutes to head up to Blood. I just came from the Duncan Ridge Trail, and now I am back on the AT, and I'm pretty damn sure I sat on this rock about eight months ago and ate a tuna snack with Nemore and his dad Craig. So, I think I better sit on this rock and eat a snack. Check out this beautiful view, dudes. So beautiful, that's why I do this. Hey guys, I did it. I made it before dark and what a beautiful view. So, got Kusa bald, went up uh, Slaughter Mountain, and I just bagged Blood Mountain Summit. So that's where I'm gonna be staying tonight, and tomorrow, you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be sitting on that rock watching the sunrise. I'm up here on Blood Mountain. It's November 24th. It's probably like low 30 degrees. And it's about 7.15 right now. What you see is a beautiful sunrise behind me. And I'm eating instant oatmeal and hot chocolate latte. Check that out. So good. So it's eight o'clock. I'm um, just hopped back on the Kusa Backcountry Trail from the AT and the Duncan Ridge coming off Blood Mountain. Now I am heading back to my car. Uh, I have work. I have to be at work at 12:30. I'm about two hours away from Atlanta, um, which means I've got to be back in my car by 9.30 at the absolute latest. Absolute latest. Um, I'm hoping it's eight o'clock now. I think I'll be good to get back. I think I'll be able to get back to my car probably around nine. So here's to that. Let's see if I make it. So it's 8.45 and I'm back on the Kusa backcountry. Um, approach trail. I am going to be in the parking lot in about five minutes. So yeah, check that one off the list. Check that out. Oh, oh and I have a, have a thing in my hair. It's from, oh crap, sorry. I need to, I need to look at you. I'm sorry. I neglect you every time. <laughs> 